my my relationship with the play is that uh, um, I became very very um, obsessed with the play uh, at school when I was fourteen, where, where we do it, uh, we do our O levels, um, and identified uh, very very strongly independently. Uh, then we worked together and uh, on 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 different productions mm. with Helena, and Helena not knowing this. Um, asked me, I think I was 39 or something at the time, because of uh, her, own, her own personal reasons for wanting to do the play, would you, would you play Leah? And I just kind of went, I, I, I adore Helena's work, I adore working with her, and I just thought, I think I, I, think I, I, quick, I read it, and I thought, this is insane, and it <laughs> has to be done. And then it, a, a, a door opened, you know, so down we went. I, <laughs> kind of, um, so it was nothing to do with, um, you know, a feminist issue or kind of, why don't we do that? Oh, show them We how both, uh, um, not quite knowing, you know, met, uh, and and but only somebody as, <laughs> what shall we say? Um, crazy or crazy. eccentric. Uh, as Helena would. Um, then I wouldn't go on the journey with anybody except Helena. And same um, thing with me. Uh, it is considering the the reasons why Lear is done tradition the tradition of Lear being done only by the great actors at the peak of their career. I, I, it was a bit of a risky exercise, but um, both of us we feel that we had good reasons for wanting to do it. With my little fourteen year old psyche, I think I identified with with Leah kind of not compromising and saying, oh, well, give me my slippers, what the hell, 25, five, you know, you know. Um, and and uh, 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 that sense of n no compromise, I think at, at, at sort of 14, um, I, you know, there was that, um, <laughs> I, I connected with that, you know, aligned with, of course, nearly every 14-year-old sense of rejection. You know, I'm rejected, you know. <laughs> and a sense um, of injustice. That you suddenly yeah. uh, you come to judge your own parents as being no longer giants but dwarfs, the world being un unjust based on... It's suddenly rediscovering the world when you are a teenager. Very often you suddenly... It's a traumatic, amazing and sometimes incredibly stormy period. And in the same way, growing from power to relinquishing the power in old age when both your faculties and your situation demands that you abdicate is traumatic. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I, I also grew up very close to an elderly person, and I think that made a big difference. Um, so I, I, f I feel from it, I kind of got in, you know, you, when you tune yourself to an older person. And, um, and, I, and I sometimes growing old is considered a sort of diminuendo and more diminuendo and then a bit more diminuendo and then off, you know, <laughs> but I think actually it probably entails, you know, quite a lot of chaos and... And trauma, um, yeah. not only for the person going through it, but for the people around them.